Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an update on a potential new Embraer aircraft. Is it really going to happen? Let's start with the Embraer plane. Cebu Pacific is keen on the development of a prospective new narrowbody aircraft from the Brazilian plane maker. In a conversation with Aviation Week, the airline's CEO stated that the more narrowbody aircraft produced, the better. Given that aircraft availability is still a major challenge for airlines looking to renew and grow their fleets, Airbus and Boeing have long dominated the single aisle market with their A320, Neo, and 737 MAX families, along with the A220. These aircraft are all popular in their own right, but face significant backlogs that these manufacturers have struggled to clear in recent years. As a result, airlines face operational and financial hurdles. This has led some airlines to explore alternatives, though there aren't many options out there. Embraer, traditionally known for its regional jets, has filled this gap in the market, but it's clear that there is still a demand for something else. Recent reports have suggested that a new narrowbody could be in the works, even after Embraer shut down talks about this possibility in mid-2024. Interestingly, this idea has re-emerged recently. Cebu Pacific notes that its geographical position makes purchasing aircraft challenging, and while an existing Embraer regional jet might not work for them, a new design could be a game-changer. So, what is this new Embraer plane? Embraer has long specialized in regional connectivity for commercial aircraft, and while it has other projects, its focus in the commercial sector has largely been on regional jets. By the end of 2024, more reporting surfaced about the possibility of a new commercial airliner from Embraer, which could likely be a scaled-up version of its E2 series. Cebu Pacific has mentioned that if such a plane were to launch in the 2030s, it would present a unique opportunity for the airline. But it wouldn't just be Cebu Pacific showing interest. This new aircraft, which could be a disruptor in the 2030s, might attract more airlines as they look for ways to alleviate pressures on the established plane makers, Airbus and Boeing. By that time, Airbus and Boeing will likely have their delivery slots completely booked, and getting through their backlogs could be a massive challenge. Embraer have been working on new technologies that, if proven, could allow them to introduce an entirely new commercial airliner. With the success Embraer has enjoyed in the regional sector, it feels that if these new technologies come to fruition, they might finally be able to compete on a larger scale with Airbus and Boeing. Embraer has always had a significant presence in the industry, but its importance seems to be increasing with strong customer demand for a new commercial aircraft. However, no formal decision has been made and the CEO has urged analysts and others to temper their expectations as work continues. But here's where the deja vu kicks in. Airlines are once again expressing interest in a new Embraer airliner, much like what we saw with the Boeing NMA. Leasing giants and companies such as Delta showed their interest in that potential aircraft, but it never materialized. In the end, airlines had to look elsewhere. Meanwhile, Embraer's update to investors confirms that the company has approved another four-year development pause for the E175-E2, the only E2 model still not in production. This delay is largely due to scope clause issues in the United States, and the company may not restart development until February 2029. The announcement came on February 25th in a filing with Brazil's Securities and Exchange Commission extending the initial suspension from February 2022. Embraer cited the ongoing scope clause discussions between US pilot unions and airlines as the primary cause. For context, scope clauses restrict regional carriers to operating aircraft with specific weight limits and no more than 76 seats. With these limitations in place, the E175-E2 remains grounded, unable to enter production. Embraer's filing states that the company expects to resume the development program after the four-year pause, which will lead to a revised entry into service timeline. During Embraer's Investor Day in November 2024, Ariane Meyer, 
president and CEO of Embraer Commercial Aviation, acknowledged that no changes to the US scope clauses are expected anytime soon. She also pointed out that the gap between the E-175 and the E-175-E2 is not large enough to warrant airlines reopening negotiations with pilot unions. However, Meyer also made an interesting point. If airlines want to reduce fuel burn and lower their environmental footprint, adjusting scope clauses to allow the E-175-E2 to operate could be a relatively quick solution. The E-175-E2 can seat up to 90 passengers in a single-class layout or 80 in a three-class configuration. Its narrow fuselage allows for a 2-2 seating arrangement in economy class. While air travel demand in the US is predicted to continue growing, scope clause changes to allow the E-175-E2 could take years, possibly even more than the four additional years of delay. With all this uncertainty, some are wondering if Embraer might be better off redesigning the E-175 to meet the current US scope clause limits. We'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. What do you think the future holds for the E-175-E2? And Embraer's new narrowbody plans? Drop us a comment below. Follow us on social media and subscribe to the channel.